Morris and Michelle's story. A photo of Morris and Michelle, followed by a photo of Morris helping Rashawn with his homework. Making change in our life has been happening for five years. We were empty nesters when our grandson Rashawn came to live with us as guardians. We were frustrated but happy for Rashawn. Morris and I had to learn how to get back into the parenting role and everyday routine at caregivers all over again. Again, in 2015, our first granddaughter made her interest into the family. A photo of Rashawn holding his newborn sister, Durrell, and a photo of Morris talking on a cell phone. I got a frantic call from my daughter that Department of Human Services was coming to the hospital. Waiting quietly in the waiting room, I was asked to come into the room to figure out the next plan for baby Durrell. We felt like we were walking into the unknown. I was nervous as to what was happening with my daughter. As a service provider, I knew what might be happening, but this time it was my daughter. A photo of the front of Morris and Michelle's home, followed by a photo of a document that reads, State of Oregon Department of Human Services, Temporary Certificate of Approval to Maintain a Foster Home. The family came to live with us as supervised caregivers of baby Durrell. Shortly after the hearing, Durrell went to live with the family placement until Morris and I got certified. This made us very angry. It was a lengthy process, but Durrell was worth it. A photo of Durrell as a toddler climbing up a slide, followed by a photo of Morris holding Durrell and a photo of Durrell as a baby hugging Michelle. Our certifier was very helpful through the state's process. Eventually, our little Darrell came to live with us full time, which again was a life-changing moment. We had plenty of support from my immediate family members, giving us respite when we needed some personal time. Darrell's parents had a liberal visiting schedule because we were the grandparents and opening to the children seeing them. During this time, they were able to come to family events, camping trips with us. Moving forward, we are now in the process of adoption for Darrell. It's been two years and the state wants a more concrete plan for her. We are hoping for a quick transition for Darrell because our goal is to make sure Rashawn and Darrell are raised together as siblings and have a strong connection together. A photo of Rashawn, followed by a photo of Darrell as a toddler playing with a water hose. Morris and I understand the connection between siblings. We want these two children to have a strong bond and know the importance of sister and brother love. Thank you, Miranda Monroe, Myron Wright Jr., Stephanie Jackson, Dominique Wright, Certifier Jennifer Spivey, Carmen Peterson, Rashawn Wright. Special thank you to Darrell Bowden, It's All About You. These stories were created in a digital storytelling workshop held at Oregon Post Adoption Resource Center, O-R-P-A-R-C. We would like to thank them for their support. These videos were created by the Capacity Building Center for States, funded by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Administration for Children and Families, Children's Bureau, under contract number HHSP 2332-0140-0033C. Logos for the Children's Bureau and the Capacity Building Center for States.